Sean Sport in podcast form. Firstly, Australia's back in action in the World Cup tonight. They're up against South Africa. Cameron Green, West Aussie, is likely to be dropped for Marcus yeah, Stoinis, right. a fellow West Australian. Mm. Um, it hasn't quite gone to plan um, in his short one Cameron day. Cameron Green's the money one, isn't yes, it? Yes, 3.4. Mm. And, and, you, and you were, yeah, so it was a, you have yeah, a grudge I, about what he said. Because he hadn't planned to spend yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what I'm spending it on. You don't deserve it. <laughs> That should be taken. If anyone mutters that after coming into money, it needs to be taken off them and given to, well, me or us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps someone more deserving. I mean, I mean, me would be good. Did you read that article online? I think it mm-hmm. might have been overnight about those people who who won the raffle to win one of the blockhouses. Yes. And then they can they they got the video of it or the the audio of it. And they were complaining yeah. about bits and yeah. pieces that yeah. went in the house. So and they the got guys it, um, when they got it for free. Yeah, the guys raffled it off, and then they end up taking um the expensive like uh, meat cooker and all this sort of stuff. Oh, and and the they said no. We said we're going to give it away fully furnished, a house fully furnished. <laughs> that stuff's outside. <laughs> <laughs> and plus, we, we get a stupid your, bear on the plus outside. Plus, we just gave you a four million dollar house. Shut up. <laughs> Exactly, a four million dollar house. Oh, you can go and buy oh, your own Lordy. automatic lawnmower. Yeah, we'll see what happens with Cameron Green, whether he just sits on the pine for a couple of weeks. But it's yeah. horses for courses. And I know with Marcus Stoinis coming in, you know, he's going to smash the ball out of the park, no doubt. So yeah, I hope so. He'll be a great inclusion. Australia needs to win this, not only because I mentioned yesterday they get 40 grand each time the US. Yeah, I, I, time they I don't think they're in it for the prize money. But they need to be in it for pro- progressing forward yeah. in the tournament. The big news... Um, around the world yesterday was in the UFC world. Now, Alexander Volkanovsky, the Volk who yes. came in here, bought mm. his belt. Remember how heavy yeah. it was? Yeah. Been training bloody um, Mark Zuckerberg in mm. Mark's yeah. octagon mm. at the back of his yard. Like we, When he was in here, we didn't realise how connected he is. He's a real, really big deal. Yeah. He's a really Huge. big deal. Absolutely. So he has taken, on 11 days notice, he has taken a fight against uh, Islam Markachev, who he fought here and lost to yeah, at right. RAC and Arena. And remember what that did to Perth at the time. Yeah. Yeah. It was huge. All those stars came in. He's going to Dubai. Markachev's um, opponent, he got his eye split. They said it was going to take too long to heal and he wouldn't be able to fight this thing. So, so he he's gets come the off phone. the bench and said, Dana, I'll do it. Dana White, the boss of the UFC, and uh, he said he just made the call in an instant. The Volkanovsky crew, I mean, him and Israel, these guys are just absolute studs, man. He jumps in and, and he accepts the fight. It's one of the most anticipated rematches ever in that weight class. Absolutely. So, this is a it, massive, sorry. massive Talking deal. up a bit, but 11 yeah. days. 11. Yeah. I know he's ready. To, I know he's ready to go, but um, all yes. right. So I wonder how long, how much notice I would need if I was to say I'd have a fight. Mate, 11 years wouldn't do it. <laughs> Not even. <laughs> I, don't, I, th- I think Red right now, as someone said to me, you've got a year to get ready for a fight, and then at yep. the end, there's something good for you. I don't think that's enough time. <laughs> I, I, yeah. It, look, yes. It'll absolutely. take me six months because, to pick a because weapon. Because people take four years to go to the next Olympics. From the moment yeah. they finish the Olympics, four years' time, every progression they have is, a, week is off. a step forward. <laughs> they have a week off. 11 days, and he's gone, yeah, I'm going to take this guy on. Let's go. He's a freak, and he's yeah. really good. And the best part about it as well, when we had him in here, is he was a nice lovely, guy. down-to-earth yeah. guy. Yeah. yeah, Good luck to Didn't uh, want to Alexander. punch him in the head at all. And no. I did love his belt as well. Every time he wins, he gets another precious yeah. stone I know, it's put amazing, on his belt. It? It's like the Infinity Glove from yeah. the Avengers. Infinity Glove. <laughs> Jordan Usher is our new oh. Wildcat we get to speak to this yeah. year. See, that's why I've forgotten about Luke Travers. Yeah. <laughs> Jordan Usher's in the house. Jordan yeah. Usher, can I tell you something right now? And this is a compliment. We have met for the last 20 years every Wildcats player. Mm. I'm very good friends with Greg High. I know mm. Damian Martin very well. You are, hands down, the most attractive player they have oh, ever Nathan. signed. Yeah. Don't He's you think? He's got a girlfriend. Oh, He's like, that, you're like <laughs> you could be on a teen drama, Jordan I'm Usher. I'm glad we started here. Don't I you agree. think? I agree. Let's discuss. Yeah, I tell JR all the time, I'm the most handsome guy on the court. <laughs> And that's one of the main reasons they brought me because we got that's a lot. Right. Of, we got a lot of bad looking dudes. That's yeah. why the red army turned up. Yeah. Your defense is your looks. Yeah, because people are like, people are like, whoa! Yeah. That's true. They get blocked by his looks. Yeah, yeah. And, and nothing to do with the fact that he dropped thirty five in his first yeah. game. Yeah. Well, yeah. No yeah. because people are stunned by their look. Oh, got the open shot. Yeah. Yeah. The open so, shot. No, and, and, the, and the sweat boys have to come out because there's drool all yeah. over the court. <laughs> true. I was, true. I was actually wondering, Jordan, when I watched. Well, so far there's been a small sample size. There's been four games. So far, yeah. two and two, the Wildcats. But you're outscoring Bryce all the time, and the ball still goes through him in, uh, in like a high post or something. But yeah. are you just saying, move aside, old man? I'll take it from <laughs> here. No, Bryce is actually the, one of the best superstars to play with because he really is a superstar in his own right in the NBL. And, you know, I feel like we kind of 
it's kind of like a take turns thing. Like if someone's hot, he's hot. Yeah. I let him go, ride it out. He, he wants me to do it. I'm doing it. And he's always getting in my ear telling me to keep going. You know, JR is a really open coach. So, you know, I like to take the ball sometimes, but he likes to get it too. Yeah. <laughs> Bryce is very happy to pass off. Like, he, you know, he was passing off to Alex Saar the other night Absolutely. as well. And he was no, draining yeah. the trees. But here's nice this. Work. If you're used to dropping 35 yeah, no. and then Jordan comes in. And like, the young buck oh, turns up. Oh. I might, I might just, uh, I might take this shot. Bryce is obviously a better person than you, Sean. Yeah, That's all I, I think it's refreshing, though. I think mm. it's refreshing when he has to do a lot of heavy lifting yes. to find someone else to lift it, and it's almost yeah. like you know, yeah. I kind of want that synergy to be on the court where he knows I could do it if he's not doing it, mm. and he can do it if I'm not doing it. I think you're um, pretty enough just to have all the all, all the the top shots. You know what I mean? Like all yeah. the glory. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah, he's yeah. banging in some glory. Like, there's going to be a replay of this, and let's get him on there. <laughs> They're going to show it again and again. Let's put a best face forward. Yeah. <laughs> Jordan, we're going to get into your journey in a second. I just want to ask you one more uh, um, yeah. probably serious basketball question. Oh, really. It's a big game go. against oh, Melbourne coming yeah. up. But what I've noticed in the last few weeks, I've mentioned this on air, the offense is looking pretty good, but I've thought the defense at times has been woeful. Yeah. They've seen this opposition have scored hand over fist against yeah. you in, in periods, you know, 12, 14 Turns out points. your face isn't enough. Yes. What, what, are you, what, are you, what are your thoughts on that? I feel like especially in that third quarter. I feel yeah. like we've been starting most games yeah. pretty good other than yeah. our first game versus Tazzy. Yeah. We start games pretty well, but sometimes coming out of that third quarter, I feel like we're a little complacent. I feel like we are a team that can score so much, we don't feel too stressed when the other team goes on a run or we start having bad lapses in defense, but that needs, that needs to stop immediately. Like, yeah. actually, I 100% agree. I hear the fans on that. I hear our coach on that. We need to stop that immediately because – even if we're off scoring, teams can't score 100 points every yeah, time we play them. That's we, right. we, don't, we need to win 110 to 100 every time. That's just bad. Absolutely. Right. Now, let's play um, a bit of a game of where have you come from? Let's, <laughs> let's do the itinerary. So where did we start and how did we end up here? Go. Yep. Started in Atlanta, Georgia. Mm-hmm. So born and bred. Yep. Born and bred. Then for my first college years, I went to Los Angeles and played for USC. Trojans. Nice. Yep. Then came back home because I miss my mommy and oh. I went, <laughs> went back to Atlanta. Then first pro year was last year. I played in Istanbul, Istanbul. in Turkey, and then I'm here. Can I can I ask, getting back, so you, you're doing the college circuit, everyone's yep. going through, you're playing at a high level. Yep. From that point on, when you don't, um, you're undrafted in the NBA, yes. what makes you decide to go to a place like Turkey, Istanbul, and start yep. a career? Yeah, uh, to be very upfront, they, they pay. So. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I, I wanted to get it's some money, yeah. you know, yeah. Yeah. got a single mother, wanted to be able to put some relief on anybody that, oh. that needed it around me. So they definitely pay. And it's a good league, but, you know, it also it's you live in Istanbul. Yeah. So you're in- yeah. <laughs> Tell us yeah. about that. <laughs> well, there's, a, there's a language barrier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, sure you're, you know, you're in the nice part, weren't you? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. It's pe- an amazing historic nice. city. But-, yeah. Yeah. but, I mean, getting on Google Translate, going to get yeah. groceries every day is oh, kind yeah. of annoying. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's just the, kind of the ease of life type stuff. Yeah. It would yeah. So yeah. you're um, in Istanbul and you are um, you get a message about Perth. Yeah. And- well, I got a message about Summer League first. Yep. And then I ended up being teammates with Keanu. Yeah, and right. yeah. one night, uh, and Keanu actually had an injury, so he didn't play. And one night, Keanu was like, coming downstairs, I got someone that wants to meet you. And I was kind of like, uh, what? And I went downstairs and it ended up being JR. And I've known yeah, right. JR yeah. since college when he tried to recruit me in college to go to Boise. And I was like, okay, kind of full circle. They gave me a quick spiel about Perth and then... About three weeks later. They told you like, about the bell tower and you yeah, said, yeah. I'm in. Yeah, 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 yeah. I am yeah, yeah. in. You would get You're knows. telling me there is a tower that has a bell in it? <laughs> Sign me up. <laughs> Don't pay me. <laughs> Jordan, you were telling us with the summer league situation, oh, uh, yeah. you, the owners, it's not necessarily that you're going to go there and play and get drafted. So when yep. you were in Vegas in that time, you, yeah, Tell oh, yeah. Like your oh, yeah. I was telling him, I'm pumping, I'm pumping the room service bill. I'm doing <laughs> steak and shrimp at 3 a.m. I'm doing ice cream cookies, you know, anything that I could do. I'm just having fun with the guys. There's a bunch of the homies that are there, too. We are all kind of on the same page. Hit the casino, spend room service, play good basketball, and just kind of live on their dime for a little bit. That's yeah. kind of, so exciting. Yeah, personal treat, personal treat. Oh, okay, like and that. talk to us about life so far in Perth. What are you loving the most about yeah. our fair city? It's it's so easy going. Everyone's Thank you. super chill. Everyone's yeah. nice, you know yeah, what I mean? Like, I like going to the beach. Yeah. Uh, attractive, nice did restaurants. say attractive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. great. Uh, not as looking. attractive as him. No, that's <laughs> <laughs> and that's across the board. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jordan, the thought of going back and... Going back to the states and playing in the NBA—that should be uh, that's still a lure of yours, no doubt. Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, who doesn't want to play in the NBA? But I also yeah. want to play basketball. If you get what I'm saying. Yeah. Yes. Like it would be awesome to get paid a whole bunch of money, but I feel like after 16 games of sitting on the bench and clapping, 
You're just a high paid cheerleader. I don't want to do I, that. I have yeah. seen video yeah. of you that. doing that when the Wildcats were playing early yeah. on. And you, you're you a good hype girl, oh, I've got 100%, to say. 100%. You I'll, hype, really, I'll hype the dudes up anytime. You really get into it. When everyone else yeah. is just sitting there, yeah. you were really going. And it's really surprising because all you hear is, woo! Yeah. And it's like, wow! Screw. That's my picture, Screw. Jordan. Yeah. Woo! He's saying. Is there guys playing in the NBA now that you've played with and you're like, man, I could blow them apart? Yeah, fair enough. But I feel at the same time, there's a little bit of that mixed with, you know, playing NBA is like a lot of opportunity. Hitting your opportunity at the right time, cashing in the chips at the yeah. really right point. If you're one of the fringe guys, which I consider myself like a fringe guy, yeah. you know, when you're a top leader, you're like an Alex Saar, yeah. pretty much, it's a shoe in He's going to get millions of dollars. He's going to play in the NBA. Like, it's going to happen for sure. But to be a fringe guy, it's kind of got to get the perfect uh, well, timing. I want to know the big money over there. Yeah. You've been near it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's it like no, seeing it up close? Wonderful. <laughs> Is it? Hey, well, you just, Tell me they everything. Feel like they just smell different. It's just, <gasps> it's just a great feeling. Yes. And I wouldn't say that money brings happiness. But, I don't, huh? mate. Yeah, 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 well, yeah, I would be does. stoked. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't bring it, but it doesn't stoked. hurt it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We've seen Dame Lillard just go over to the Bucks yeah. recently, and he can sign a contract extension. It's yep. $47 million a year, yeah. and then like 100 and you know, yeah. two hundred million dollar contract. It's ridiculous. Like Jalen Brown, who went to my high yep. school, just signed a what a five year three hundred and thirty million. Like, duh, duh, and, and so much 300. money. I just want and one he of the went million. To, he oh went to God. school with you. He, That's he, amazing. Yeah, yep, he was oh, the year before saying, I yeah. went there. Yeah, he graduated the year. Are you the only there. athlete in your family, or a, is yeah? I more? mean, my mom tried to play basketball. She wasn't that good, but yeah. <laughs> I, I guess I'm the only athlete for sure, and sure. I'm a small family. I'm the only child, so. Oh, okay. So yeah, yeah it's just you. Yeah, only child of a single mother. Yes. What's her name? Karen. What a legend. Is it Karen? Yeah, she kind of is a Karen. Karen. <laughs> she, she, she owns it. She owns it. She owns oh, it. Oh, no. She rang already to speak to our boss. Yeah. yeah 100%. She wasn't happy with the direction this was going. Let's not talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's talk about finally hitting Australia. One thing that people do hear about in Australia is um, people are warned about the wildlife. Yes. Yeah. Everything can kill yeah. you. Yeah. So um, you're down at the beach. <laughs> yeah. I was down at the beach and I turned around for my towel and I had like a couple snacks out and there was like a giant like nine foot lizard. <laughs> like, what was a like Komodo round, dragon doing at Cotter's Floor? It was round, the long tongue, and it was terrifying. But one of the one of the native It was the raptor from Jurassic yes. Park. Yeah, yeah, I felt like I was in the movie. <laughs> but one of the local Australians came and just grabbed it. I'm pretty sure his son grabbed it and just launched it in the rocks. <laughs> just, <laughs> just grabbed it behind its head. I was like, like Dad, can we catch it? That goes over there. Yeah, launched it. <laughs> so if that's what's at the beach, yeah. are you terrified of perhaps going into the bushland? Yeah, I will not be going in the bushland. <laughs> <laughs> I will not be. I promise I will not. <laughs> I, I want to take you into the bushland. <laughs> oh, that sounds the bush. yeah, so threatening and don't go in the bushes. <laughs> and Nathan tells you how pretty you are. <laughs> Come in here, sweet lips. No. <laughs> you do want to go to rot nest, though. So you're not yeah. going to be scared of yeah. the quokkas. No, I want to see a quokka. They look cute. Yeah. They look cute. They look small. I saw one on TikTok, so I was like, I'd like to see that. In person, at least. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'll change my mind so when I get Did you see them on TikTok? Yeah, change my mind. Did you see them before you got here or since you got here? No, I've been getting a bu- since I got here, I've been getting a bunch of, um, like I feel like zoo. Yeah, right. content on my phone or like this is what we have in Perth so I was like okay like at least we try to look at them like, they look cute I'm not really like a wildlife guy unless it's like you know like trying to fish or something like I feel like regular wildlife yeah. you guys have yeah. some extreme wildlife thank Mate, you we had a one day we've mentioned a lot of times we had a snake handler come mm. in with a yeah. tiger snake one of the most deadliest snakes in the world he yeah. let it out yeah. Yeah. he let it out in yeah. here now the, you gotta understand the snake handler knows the tiger snake pretty well they've been working together for a while um, the Tiger snake comes out and attacks the snake handler like, like striking he had murdered his, his entire family. Sean and Natalie's not in here. She's no, in the other I was in because I'm not and I are up yeah, on here 100%. next room because the guy just let it loose in here. Could have gotten anywhere <laughs> and it was going. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and there was venom dripping from the yeah. guy's bloody jeans. Anyway. <laughs> Jordan, we got a surprise for you. No, <laughs> no, 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 uh, well, the Wildcats are in action, as I said, tomorrow so night. Get behind them, everyone. Melbourne United. Yeah, See take Jordan him down. Action. Yeah. He'll be dropping 35. Yeah. Yeah. No, pre- no pressure, Ash, but that's yeah. what we expect from no you now. No problem. Yeah, that, if that's how you start, that's how you mean to go yeah, on. All right, not. everybody. Yep. You know what? It, it was Jordan Usher. He's pretty, and he's our Wildcat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. <laughs> Sean Sport is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.